need more foods. Oh dear. He is Clarence. Getting the nice angle. <laughs> He's an African gray parrot and he is about 25 years old. So he was named after Clarence Darrow, a civil rights lawyer. My dad, Papa, named him. Um, when Papa died, Clarence came to live here the next day. I was worried about the transition. I was worried about Clarence. Um, I thought it was going to be really traumatic for him. But the whole thing was traumatic. And towards the end of Papa's life, he was in the hospital um, for a while. And there were several stints of where he was in the hospital or in rehab for several weeks. So there was a lot of time where Clarence was alone. He had somebody come in and take care of him, um, including me, I would go in. But I was also going to visit Papa every day, so it was hard to do both. Um, so Clarence was used to me, but he was also alone a lot. And parrots are very social animals, and they need people around. Um, so once we brought Clarence home here, he was happier. African greys are great talkers and funny and have big personalities. And they're also brats. It's like having a toddler around all the time. So African greys, um, there's two kinds of African greys. Clarence is a Congo African Grey and there's also a Timna Afri African Grey. And they have a really varied diet. They live in colonies and they are very um, flock oriented. Um, they're not easy pets. They require a lot. Their mission in life is to destroy things. And while they are super funny and very social, um, like I said, they can be brats and they can, without a moment's notice, attack, bite. They need fresh vegetables and fruit every day. They require um, a healthy diet. One of the first foods that he ate that he really liked was apple, and so he used that, uses that word generically for food. It's time for your apple. He likes lima beans. He loves lima beans. He likes broccoli and cauliflower and carrots. He likes spinach, but just when it's chopped the exact right way. Clarence loves music. He loves Steely Dan. Um, and he dances sometimes he'll start singing and making the snapping sounds so we'll turn music on and he dances he bobs his little head yeah you can see he's interested oh my face and i'm ready to say okay gonna be a great day. Oh, that's a nice stretch. It's a little bit of a prison, to be honest. I wouldn't have it any other way. I love having Clarence. I love having his, um, he, he makes us laugh all day every day yesterday when i was heading out greg called me and said you'll never guess what clarence just said bethy bird bethy bird i'm pretty sure that was a compliment and i love hearing papa's voice that is a gift he laughs in papa's voice that is a gift like i said we love him and i wouldn't have it any other way and we take good care of him um but would i recommend getting a bird no. Birds are wild creatures and I don't, 
I don't think that they should be pets. Um, I feel bad, They're, they get very, very hormonal. It can be really frustrating for them and I feel bad, you know, I'm the closest thing he has and he tries to feed me like he would a mate and um, so I can't encourage that. You have to be really careful about the way that you pet them and the only things that are really safe are their head, their beak, and their claws, their talons because everything else can elicit, if you're petting their backs or their chest, um, a hormonal response. It's impacted us a lot. We've got his cage in the middle of the um, family room. I've set up a playpen area for him to play in. He chews up papers, he's dusty, he takes a shower with us several times a week. Um, it's, it's a lot of responsibility. I also feel like, a, I feel a connection with Papa, with Clarence. So, and I, and I think Greg does too. Um, like I said, I wouldn't have it any other way.